Hey guys, it's Jeremiah. I'm here at the Blanc Pan Boutique uh, at MBS and I have an incredible watch to show to you guys today. Uh, 2023 marks the 70th anniversary of the 50 Fathoms and there is an all new 50 Fathoms that Blanc Pan is going to launch very soon. It's called the 50 Fathoms 70th Anniversary Act 2 Tech Gombesa. And I'm going to show you close-ups right now and we'll talk through the watch. So the 50 Fathoms has had a very storied and illustrious history uh, over its 70 years. Uh, but this particular watch has been designed to meet modern technical dive requirements for long duration diving, such as rebreather or saturation diving. Uh, the main feature of this new 50 Fathoms it is able to measure up to three hours of immersion underwater. And it's a feature that was developed uh, by Blanc Pen President and CEO Mark A. Hayek, as well as the founder of the Gombesa project, uh, Laurent Balesta. Uh, Mark Hayek is an avid scuba diver and Laurent Ballester, he's both a diver photographer and underwater biologist. And the Gombesa project was started in 2013, a partnership between both Blanc Pen and Ballester, and it was founded with the express purpose of studying marine life that live deep underwater. So there have been six expeditions so far, and the latest being a multi-year mission to Tamataroa in French Polynesia to study the hammerhead shark and to promote conservation of the Rangiroa Atoll uh, as well. And as you can see on the bezel of this new 70th anniversary model, it doesn't have a standard dive uh, scale. Rather, it has a scale that measures three hours of a dive time. Unidirectional, of course. I'll just rotate the bezel here. And what's special about this bezel is it's not made of sapphire, but black ceramic. And sapphire first appeared on the 50 Fathoms uh, on the 50th anniversary model, uh, in, uh, which launched in 2003. You can see here the uh, hour indexes and the markers uh, count down from three hours at 12 o'clock, two and a half, two, one and a half hours, one and 30 minutes. They are all painted uh, white. Superluminova, but it emits with a green glow. I'll just unscrew the crown here. And when we adjust the time, as you can see, if we start at 12, there's this special uh, hour hand that rotates one full uh, revolution in three hours. As you can see here, as I rotate the hands, and so this is very useful if you are doing technical dives and when you are diving very deep uh, underwater. Uh, the bezel as well, uh, you can see it has a different curve from what uh, previous 50 fathoms had. Um, which kind of curves more inwards towards the dial. So you are very focused uh, on the watch and your dive time. What's special about this black dial as well is able to absorb up to 97% of light. And that aids in creating a very strong contrast with the orange uh, applied uh, hour indexes, which are block shaped, raised from the dial and three dimensional as well. The hour indexes and the hour and minute hand, uh, they glow blue. Again, a different contrast to the green emission uh, of the three hour hand as well as on the bezel. What's special about this case? Well, it's 47 millimeters. It's pretty big, uh, but it's very light because it's made of titanium and not just any titanium, um, but a grade 23 titanium also known as grade 5 ELI. Uh, what does ELI stand for? It's extra low interstitials, and that refers to a reduction in the amount of oxygen and iron that is found in the titanium alloy, which improves ductility and strengthens uh, fracture toughness. Uh, so this is an extremely light, it's also strong, anti-allergenic, 
uh, all the standard properties that you would find from titanium. Okay, so other features that you would find that are standard for 50 fathoms as well, obviously the screw down crown here, but now there is a helium escape valve at 10 o'clock. And this valve has been tested extensively both by the Gombessa project divers uh, with Laurent as well uh, in 2019 and 2021. Uh, on the Expedition uh, 5 and 6. Uh, it was also tested by Mark Hayek on his recreational dives. So this watch was developed um, for five years before it was even launched. Right? And at the back, you can see obviously a screw down case back with a self-winding 13 P8 movement. And the Gombessa uh, project logo engraved into the oscillating weight here. What's nice about this case as well is beveled and angled uh, on the rear side of the watch so that when you wear it on your wrist, it's very comfortable and your wrist doesn't, or the case doesn't dig into your wrist. Uh, for the first time as well, there's a central lug on the watch instead of the two standard prongs that you see and this integrates the rubber strap perfectly to the case. You will see crown guards on uh, protecting the crown as well. So one last thing about this watch that I should add is its water resistance, which is 300 meters. And that is about the maximum depth at which saturation diving takes place. So this watch is uh, perfect for that purpose. So this is an incredible watch for the 70th anniversary of the 50 Fathoms. Uh, one that is very useful uh, for technical dives uh, with a helium escape valve. A unidirectional bezel, black dial, high contrast, uh, numerals and indexes, screw down, crown and case back, all the hallmarks of this legendary dive watch, but now updated uh, for, to meet the modern technical uh, dive requirements. And, what's, I mean, and the last thing I would add is uh, this also represents a new line for the 50 fathoms, so I'm sure there'll be more to come from this legendary dive watch. Uh, and from Blanc Pan. So there you go. This is the new 50 Fathoms 70th anniversary Act 2 Tech Gombessa, uh, which incorporates all the uh, iconic uh, features of the 50 Fathoms, but also represents a new chapter uh, in the ever evolving uh, history uh, and future of the 50 Fathoms as well.